What's up YouTube? One of the comments for Razer 128 gigabyte image and running Nintendo 64 games on the Raspberry Pi 3 is it's laggy. You should just throw all those games out. They're no fun. They're not worth even playing them. Well, I disagree. And today we're going to see before and after of overclocking Razer 128 gigabyte image. So you see how the menu is a little laggy? Alright, test this out. We're gonna do all five at once and see what happens. Oh, see laggy there. See how it's a little laggy? Alright, so that's a uh, before. Another really popular game, Super Mario 64. This is before overclock. Let's see how it runs. Seems to be running really well. Try to run in one of these rooms. Okay, so that's Mario. Next game, Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, it's not very responsive as well. All right, that's before the overclock. So here we go, Pokemon Stadium as the seventh most sold game for Nintendo 64. Let's see how it runs before the overclock. Watch these hits. What a furious battle. Okay, this seems to run just fine um, without the overclock. Maybe a little, a little bit of lag in the cutscenes. Diddy Kong Racing at 4.43 million copies sold, the sixth most popular N64 game. Let's see how it runs on a stock clock. Seems to run just fine. All right, so it's run good without the clock, but maybe it'll run smoother with the overclock. Now overclocked our Raspberry Pi 3. Now a warning, this does void your warranty. Not all Pis are created equal. They do make heat sinks for your Raspberry Pi as well. And you can overclock not just the CPU, you can overclock the GPU. And that's all explained in, an, in another video that I'll link in the description below as far as how to do it. But right now we're sitting at uh, 1.3 gigahertz per core. So we are uh, 0.1 gigahertz overclock, the stock clock being 1.2, we are at now 1.3. And earlier we played these games on the uh, stock computer, and now we're going to be playing them in overclock, and see if we see any benefits to these games. Diddy Kong Racing. This game's running really smooth, but it ran really smooth before, so I don't necessarily think it's any better. But uh, it's definitely running really smooth. Super Smash Brothers, we played before. My biggest complaint wasn't that it was laggy as much as it was the controls were a little. It was the lagginess was in the controls.
I mean, it's running well. Like, it's definitely very playable. Like, no complaints at all. I mean, again, this game is running great, no issues. It's a little bit laggy in the cutscenes and in the menus if you go too fast, but during the game, there's no lag. So you can see it's still a little laggy in the uh, in the menu. Still lagging a little bit. All right here. Oh, really? Wow, that lag just killed me. The other thing was when you're overclocking is I've had it happen a couple times where I'm scrolling no. through this menu. No, not, not recently. I clocked it down. If you overclock and you scroll those menu and freezes, you're gonna have to down clock. That's actually a really good way to test whether you overclock too much or not. Is just holding down the down button, and if this, if a constant moving around the menu causes your pie to freeze, you're you're too overclocked. You gotta take it back a notch. Not not overclocks are created equal. Some pies clock better than others. Now at one point three, it's super stable. Like I was running one point three five, and it's just not stable. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.